Go ahead. Make us laugh if you think you can. Very well. I would like to be the first to begin. You there! You shiny dome, Tangu! Did you say shiny dome? <laughs> that is a wig, isn't it? That shiny thing on your head? It's pretty obvious, you know. <laughs> How dare you laugh at me! For your information, it's not a wig! Don't ever call me shiny dome! <laughs> Baldome has been a very bad boy. He's a senshi who's supposed to be protecting his town, but instead he's been causing trouble and that's bad. <sighs> it's my duty to punish bad people like you for this injustice. Listen, lady. You'll never get away with this! Oh. This gun can shoot 200 rounds. Roku Monson, the rapid fire gun. Have a taste of these 200 fire rounds. It has 200 rounds? That's pretty amazing. Then I'll have to stop you with just one bullet. And only one bullet! Yeah, give me a break. able to pull the trigger, she blew the rod right out of my Rokumonsen, and with just one shot! This girl, who is she? What do you think you're doing? Hurry up, man, you've got to stop her! Stop her! Don't worry, Baldy. I didn't kill any of them. Damn it. We have one more act to show you. Wanna see? Chan. What? What you said earlier, that really hurt me. Well, what did I say? That the weight of a human life means no more to the senshi than the act of pulling a trigger. Forget about it. I wasn't talking about you. But that's the reason why you chose to fight with a sword instead of a gun, isn't it, Yachan? A swordsman grips the sword with his hand and then cuts through the flesh and bone. You know what it feels like in your hands. You can feel the weight of a person's life right in the palm of your hands. It would turn you into a monster. Huh? The lives and thoughts of all of those who I've killed. If I were to absorb them through my hands, I would become a monster. A monster? That's right. I think I was already starting to become one. Until the day I met you. I think it would be best if we didn't ever have to use a gun or sword on anyone ever again. Yachan! Yachan! What's the matter? <laughs> Don't worry, I think he just got a little overheated. You see, we would like for you two to become the official protectors of this town. Protectors of the town? That's right. In these times of war and chaos, you would be the perfect pair to honor us by watching over our town. Of course, we'd be happy to compensate you. All of us want you to stay. Please stay. Thanks for the offer. 
But we're just traveling performers. We just wanted to see you smile, that's all. Yeah, that's right. Please, try not to be so worried. <sighs> if only you could greet everyone who comes to your town from now on with your beautiful smiles, then I'm sure there'd be no more fighting. But I... You see, this is also what Tenchi wishes for your happiness. Tenchi? Did you say Tenchi? Yes. She told me that if everyone believes in each other and if everyone shares their smiles, then the war will come to an end. That's what she told me. That's very interesting. Then I'm not afraid to laugh anymore. <laughs> Good, Ai-chan. It's been a long time since I've seen Ai laugh like that. Sorry. Mm -mm. It's great to see you smile. Daddy, I want everyone else to laugh too. <laughs> she can't be associated with Tenshi. As I thought, something must be done. John, what's the matter? Why are you being so quiet all of a sudden? Well, because there's something I need to talk to you about. What is it? I want you to tell me exactly what you have to do with Tenshi. Huh? I believe that Tenshi is the real problem behind these troubled times we're in. As long as those who are truly in power continue to do nothing, war as we know it will continue forever. So tell me now if you have anything to do with Tenshi. <laughs> All right, then, fine. Behind you, Yachan! Huh? What? Uh, go on, shoot him! Shoot them both dead! Uh, they were waiting to sabotage us! Uh, Roshina! <laughs> uh, haven't you had enough yet, Tengu? <laughs> What do you expect? First you embarrass me, and then this! Just do it! You mustn't take the gift of your life so lightly. <sighs> but it's 5,000 gold coins! Huh? That's the price of the bounty on your head! I wouldn't have tried to do this if it weren't for that! Aha! Uh -huh. Well, I'm afraid you're mistaken. Then look for yourself! John. Sorry, but I had no choice. Let me see. Uh, that's some wanted sign, all right. They've got your name and face just as clear as day, and an official seal to boot. No doubt about it. What does this mean? Why me? I don't know. You did turn against Tenshi, didn't you? That's good news. That means you're my friend now. Thank you. 
Did Miss Tenchi really put a bounty on me? I don't understand. It must be a mistake. We hid ourselves at Tokaro, an inn in the Red Light District. A fugitive is supposed to be a nuisance here. All you have to do is ask my body to know. I, Rusha Nintendo, haven't done anything wrong. The next episode of Grenadier, the Smiling Senchi. Explosion, Kensosen, Kuranai Toka. Would you like to join me?